Hey busy bees, I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Today I want to share with you some little treats. I made these treats as favors to give away at my Anthro event yesterday that I hosted doing a live cooking demo, but I'll get more into that at the end of the video later. Um, in the meantime, I wanted to share with you three delicious Rice Krispies treats. First one is our birthday unicorn treats. Second one is a strawberries and cream Rice Krispies treats. And for us chocoholics out there, a salted caramel chocolate treat inspired by a Twix bar. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below. I release new videos every Sunday, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our unicorn birthday Rice Krispies treats. First, I wanted to show you guys some gorgeous sprinkles that I found. This is perfect for these unicorn treats or birthday treats. And you can use any of these bright, beautiful colors for the chocolate topping, but I'm gonna use this teal one. All right, here we have all of our ingredients laid out. Now I'm gonna grab three tablespoons of butter, put it in my pot, let it melt on low heat. I'll add one teaspoon of vanilla extract to give it that yummy vanilla cake flavor. A pinch of kosher salt, mix it all together, let it melt completely. All right, this looks good. Now I'm gonna add four cups of mini marshmallows. I'll stir it around and let the butter coat it completely. This way it doesn't stick. And we'll let it melt until the marshmallows become this yummy, sticky cloud. Perfect. I'll pull it off heat and then I'll add in five cups of Rice Krispies and half a cup of our rainbow sprinkles. How gorgeous. Give it a good mix. Make sure every Rice Krispie is coated with that yummy marshmallow. Looks nice and sticky. Now I'll grease my pan that's nine by nine, just so nothing sticks. And while it's still warm, I'll transfer my Rice Krispies. I'll flatten it out with my spatula. Make sure everything's even. Oh, I love those speckles of pinks and blues. So pretty. And while it cools down, I'm gonna work on my topping. In a large microwave safe bowl, I'm adding one and a half cups of white chocolate and two tablespoons of neutral oil. I'm using avocado oil here because it's nice and neutral, but you can use vegetable oil, canola oil, anything that won't add flavor to our white chocolate. Now I'll microwave it for a minute and a half, 30 seconds at a time, just until it gets melted. I'll pull it out and I'll just keep stirring until it's nice and smooth, like this. Now taking my food coloring, I'm just gonna add a few drops at a time, just until I get the perfect color. Mm, I think this can be a little more blue. One more drop, okay. Mix, mix, mix. Oh yeah, this looks good. Then I'll immediately pour it over our Rice Krispies treats. Mmm, and then just spread it around, cover every crack. And for the fun part, sprinkles! Oh, I love how this looks, so pretty. This would be great for a celebration or just a fun snack. Make sure I get all the edges. And that's it. I'll let it sit until the chocolate gets nice and hard. And then we'll just go ahead and cut into it. I like cutting them into squares. Do 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 do. This one looks like a good piece. Got a lot of sprinkles, nice layer. Mm -mm. Let's dig in. Mm. This is a great alternative to a regular birthday cake and it's much easier to transport too. I love all the fun festive colors and this nice cute layer of the blue frosting. So good. All right, now we're moving on to our next one, which is our strawberries and cream Rice Krispies treat. For this recipe, I'm using freeze-dried strawberry slices to give it some real fruit flavors. Freeze-dried strawberries are great, and they look like this. Now I'm just gonna take one bag and crush it up. I'm looking for a good mix of chunks and powdery pieces to really infuse our Krispies here. This looks perfect. And here's our spread of ingredients. And again, I will start with the butter. I have three tablespoons here that I'll add to my pot on low heat. 
Add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of kosher salt, and I'll mix it all together until the butter is melted. Here's a quick tip. While the butter is melting, try to swirl it around the sides of the pot so that the marshmallows don't stick later. All right, once it's all melted, I'm gonna add in 10 ounces or one whole bag of mini marshmallows. Same thing, keep stirring until the marshmallows are all melted. Nice and sticky. Perfect. Now I'll pull it off heat and I'll pour in this time six cups of Rice Krispies and one bag of our freeze-dried strawberries. Mm -mm -mm. Mix it all around. And again, while it's still hot, we'll pour it into our greased pan. And we'll just spread it all out with my greased spatula and let it cool while I work on the topping. Again, here's one and a half cups of white chocolate with two tablespoons of neutral oil. I'm just gonna nuke it again for a minute and a half, let it melt, and then stir it around. Nice and smooth. But this time, I'm just gonna spread it directly on. Make sure to cover the whole thing. Now, taking my second bag of non-crushed freeze-dried strawberries, I'm just gonna sprinkle it directly onto the white chocolate, just to add some more strawberry flavors. I'll pat it down a little bit to make sure it sticks into the chocolate and let it cool completely until the white chocolate hardens. Mm -mm -mm. It's so beautiful, it's like a wallpaper pattern. All right, let's give this baby a try. A nice thick layer of white chocolate and I love all the real bits of strawberries. So much texture in this one. So pretty. Mmm. This reminds me of those milk and cereal bars and could technically double as breakfast here. <laughs> I love how the strawberries add natural flavor and sweetness. I actually think this one's my favorite here. But I save the most decadent one for last, our salted caramel chocolate rice krispies. All right, again, here's all of our ingredients laid out. I'll grab the butter, melt it, add our vanilla extract, a pinch of kosher salt, Mix it around, let it melt. And then this time, I'm adding a third cup of our caramel sauce. It's the Fleur de Sel caramel sauce from Trader Joe's, and it's a great alternative to making your own. Let it melt and mix it all together. Beautiful. Add a whole bag or 10 ounces of mini marshmallows. Give it a good mix. It looks like caramel popcorn, kind of. Not anymore. All right, mix it all around. And once it's molten marshmallow, take it off heat. This time we're adding six and a half cups of Rice Krispies here because you want it to soak in all of that sauce. Mix it until everything's coated. And again, in our greased baking pan, while it's still hot, let's transfer it out. I'll just smooth it, flatten it, make sure it's even, and let it cool while we work on our topping. This time, in a bain-marie, I have a saucepan with a little bit of water. I'll place my mixing bowl right on top. Then I'll add in one and a half cups of dark chocolate chips. We're tempering the chocolate on a bain-marie here because it provides a softer heat. I don't want to scorch the chocolate by melting it directly in the pan because we want a smooth and delicious layer. And I'll just let it melt with that soft heat. Stir it around. Once we get our beautiful chocolate sauce, I'll just spread it in beautiful waves on top of the Rice Krispies. Perfect. I love the texture that this gives off. It's like I'm ice skating on chocolate. And I'll just sprinkle a dusting of sea salt just to give it some texture. Once the chocolate has completely hardened, again, we'll cut them into squares. Now let's give it a try. Mm -mm -mm. I love the sea salt right on top. And we have a nice thick layer of chocolate. The caramel's not too sweet at all because it's balanced by the sea salt on top and the chocolate just adds so much flavor. I love chocolate. Oh, now I can't decide which one's my favorite. Anyways, these treats are great, but they're even better to share like I did at my event yesterday. How I packaged it up was I took the Anthro Monogram mug, 
placed a treat bag right inside of it and filled it up with my Rice Krispies treats. I stacked them three high and I had to trim them a little bit to make them fit the cup. And to close it up, I just added a pretty ribbon. This tall one is perfect. And look at this treat bag, it's so cute, right? My gift to you. The event was so much fun. I was at Anthropology & Company Walnut Creek and did a spring strawberry lemonade theme where we made no-bake cheesecakes and a refreshing strawberry lemonade. I got to pick and choose all the utensils and bowls. It was like a dream come true. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone who came out. Let's do it again soon. If you guys want to know about future events that I'm doing, be sure to follow my Instagram at Honeysuckle Catering. And if you guys are interested in hearing about how I got started with Honeysuckle, what I'm up to, I recently did a podcast interview with the Maslow Peak, and I've linked the interview in the description box below. Weren't all those treats so simple yet elegant to make? Honestly, anybody can make them. Which one was your favorite? Be sure to comment below and thank you so much for watching. March is gonna be full of delicious, healthy, and fun videos before baby comes, so I will see you guys soon. Bye! If you like this video, you'll also love my other no-bake cheesecakes video and the Cherry Garcia bars.